London Bridge served Londoners wanting to cross the Thames for 140 years, until it was bought by an American. His name was Robert McCulloch. He was an American engineer with a grand plan to build a new community, right in the middle of the Arizona desert. Well, the first time I heard about it, they pulled me out of class and uh, he said, you know, uh, I just wanted to let you know that your grandfather bought the London Bridge. Well, that just sounds so bizarre. And then I got home and I said, what, why did I get pulled out of class and what are they talking about? And my mother said, no, you're, we called him RP. She's like, RP bought the London Bridge. He is, he is going to take it apart and move it out to Lake Havasu and that's what he's doing. And somewhere, sometime soon, it'll all be put back together again. The bridge was dismantled brick by brick, labeled, loaded onto ships and sent over to America. Its new home had barely 20 houses and not much else. We didn't even have a high school back then. We had our own water supply and our, we had to deal with our trash disposal. And there was a fire, we had to put it out. So when I first heard that they were bringing the bridge over, I just thought, oh, that's gotta be a joke. Not only was this the middle of the desert, there wasn't even a river for the bridge to cross. They had to dredge a channel, so where the, there's a section, so the, you know, the, the lake runs this way, and then there's a little peninsula type thing that runs out in a little bit. So they determined that's the best place to dredge it. So they, they uh, created a, an island. The team behind this huge project wanted the bridge to draw people to the area, to buy property and land. I saw a great deal of opportunity here for young people to come and to start and to build something. And the plan worked. Today, more than 50,000 people live in the city surrounding the bridge. It's had a huge impact. The city probably wouldn't be the size that it is if it wasn't because of that. And it brings a lot of tourism, which is great. So then it, then it, then it gives the incentive for the business owners because they know that it, it brings a number of people. I think a million something. For the local residents of Lake Havasu, the bridge is now a source of pride. That's the jewel of this town. And there are still people, tourists that come from all over the world. And it was an amazing feat to put that up. It truly was.